Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to go over how you calculate and figure out ratios uh, in, in two different ways, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but I had several people request this type of thing lately, and I haven't done a video on it, and I haven't really seen any videos on it. So I figured this was a good thing to cover. So the two things we're going to go over is how to figure out ratios in regards to how many uh, machines you need to produce a set number of items, like like a, a, a goal, right? So say you want to do a thousand science packs a minute. I'm going to show you how to figure out the amount of machines you need for that, um, taking into account uh, beacons or modules, so on and so forth. And then we're going to do the reverse, where if you already have a build, already have machines placed, uh, I'm going to show you how to figure out how much input ingredients you actually need to support those machines. So we're going to get started here. And this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to be bringing over a, a notepad file here in a second and a calculator uh, because it would just be way too complicated for me to just uh, explain it just uh, with voice. So what you need to do, right, is we're going to start with the one where you figure out how many machines you need to support a set uh, production number, essentially, right? So for this example, we're going to go with a thousand science packs a minute. Uh, it's round, it's easy. Uh, this equation, which I'll show you in just a second, will work with any numbers. Uh, you just, I'm just doing a thousand for demonstration purposes. So let's say we want a thousand science packs a minute. And to narrow it down even more, let's use red science for this example. If we look here, red science takes five seconds and it requires a copper and an iron gear. We know that. So if I drag over my notepad here, uh, this is your equation to figure out the amount of assemblers you need or refineries or whatever it may be, the amount of machines needed to support a set amount of production. Uh, and this, this takes into account productivity, uh, but if you're not using productivity, you just take that part out of the equation here, and uh, the, the crafting speed will obviously change if you use beacons or not. Uh, for this example, we're going to assume that you have a max beaconed build with productivity modules in it, um, but again, if you don't have beacons, that's fine. Uh, the, you just look at the crafting speed of the assembler and uh, just do the same equation. Okay, so remember, we want to be able to produce a thousand red science packs per minute. So there's several steps to this equation and I'm gonna write them out here uh, while I talk you through this. Okay, so items produced. What this means is items produced per cycle. So for most items in the game, it's gonna be one, right? Each, uh, when you produce it, it only gives you one. Uh, an example where it would be different would be like copper cable or uh, like belts, right? Belts give you two, you can see there, per craft and uh, Copper cable gives you two as well. So that's what that would be. Um, like I said, for most items, it's just going to be one. Okay, so items produced, uh, in this case, it's one. So we take that and we divide it by the time it takes to craft just base rate. So the craft time of a red science pack is five seconds, right? And then we multiply that by the craft speed of the assembler. And again, uh, for this example, we're going to use max beaconed well, I say max beacon, um, the most efficient beacon thing, which is eight to eight, meaning each assembler is covered by eight beacons and each beacon covers eight assemblers. It's a build you've seen probably in a lot of our series in the workshops and stuff. Uh, you can just surround an assembler with beacons and it gets it faster, but it's less efficient space-wise and in other regards. So we're gonna use a, a pretty standard, the one where you just have assemblers uh, in a row like this and then beacons in a row like that on both sides. That's what we're gonna use. Okay, and if you have productivity modules in your assemblers as well, that brings your assembler speed if you're using assembler threes, uh, which at this point, if you are using beacons and modules, I'd assume you are, uh, brings your assembler speed to 5.5. So you multiply that, right? We're right here. So this is assembler craft speed. 5.5 times 1.4, right? With four productivity modules in here, um, you have 40% productivity. So one, the, just the normal base rate plus 0.4, 40%, right? 
So that's what we get. So if we bring our calculator over here, so that's your, uh, for, for this, for red science packs, that's your calculation. We bring this over. So we do one. Um, you don't have to do, if it's just one, you don't necessarily have to even do it because anything divided by one is just going to be itself, right? Uh, but I like to do it just to kind of keep the equation straight in my head, right? Um, so I do one uh, divided by five, right? times 5.5 times 1.4 and this gives us 1.54 now this is a per second rate right so one assembler right this is this is a one assembler one assembler at that speed with productivity producing red science packs will give you 1.54 red science packs per second uh, now we want a minute rate right because we're going for a thousand a minute so we want the same uh, kind of denominator a minute um, so we just multiply this by 60. One of those assemblers will give us 92.4 red science packs a minute, right? So this, um, in this case, uh, that was 1.45. And let's just label this red science. Okay, and down here, we're just going to go goal 1,000 per minute, right? So red science. So this is per second one assembler. Okay, so we take 1.54, we multiply it by 60 uh, for seconds, right? And that equals what we said, 92.4. And this is per minute and one assembler, okay? So that's how we get that. Uh, and now it's just very simple. You just take your 1,000 goal, right? 1,000 per minute. You divide that by 92.4. And this is going to be the amount of assemblers you need to actually produce 1,000 science packs a minute with this, right? So we just take 1,000, divide by 92.4, and we get 10.8. For things like this, I highly advise you to round up. You can't make 10.8 assemblers. If you make 10, you're not going to be able to reach your 1,000 ever, regardless of how much you feed this, because you just don't have the assemblers to do it. So I prefer to round up, so 11. Now, if you want to be uh, kind of OCD friendly, um, as we like to say, or just uh, kind of make it even, uh, you could go 12, right? I mean, 11 assemblers, it's an uneven number. If, if that thing kind of bothers you, just go 12. It's a little over production. Um, and, you know, that's that's not that big of a deal. Okay, so that's how, I know it took me a little bit because I'm explaining it, but really, it's a very simple equation. Uh, and, and you can do this, again, with any numbers, any craft speed of a simpler, uh, you know, if you use beacons, if you don't. Uh, if you don't use productivity, right? So, for example, let's say we used speed modules in here instead of productivity. I would highly advise you to use productivity if the item can take it. But let's say, for example, um, just do a really quick example again. Let's say gears. Well, no, not gears. Um, let's say belt. Okay, belts, can't, you can't productivity belt, right? So you would put speed in here. Uh, with that, your speed changes, right? And you don't factor in your productivity because obviously there is none, right? And I believe... We'll double check here. I believe the speed now is going to be 9.4. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to power these on, make sure we hit all the ones next to it. 8.75. Okay, I probably didn't cover it fully. Okay, even so, let's just say this, 8.75, right? All you do is you just don't factor in your productivity and you just multiply by that craft speed, right? So you would just do items produced. In this case, it's two because we're making uh, transport belts. So let's just uh, let's just do it down here. We can get rid of it. We just do two, right? Divided by 0 0.5 because belts take half a second to make. Um, divided by 8.75 or sorry multiplied by 8.75 and then that's going to be how many of these you make right 
So again, you just do two divided by 0.5 times 8.75. And this will give you 35. It's going to be, it's kind of unbelievable. Isn't it? It's going to give you 35 per second. That seems like a lot. Um, but it's, it's not because really the main thing here is, it's producing two, right? So it's actually only doing half of that. It's actually only doing, uh, 17 and a half cycles per second. But since it gives you two, you get, you get your double, right? Um, so that's kind of how you would figure that out. It's even simpler without productivity. So that's that part. Uh, now if you want to figure out, say how many products you need to supply the 1000, right? Then you can do the same thing essentially. And just to show you, this is what the build, um, this is three, six, eight, nine, but th so th this is the standard eight to eight thing, 5.5 speed. Um, so if we take a thousand red science packs a minute as our goal again, right? And we look at, uh, let's just say gear wheels, cause that's pretty straightforward. They take one gear wheel a piece, right? So it's a one to one ratio in terms of product to product. So we need to figure out how many gear wheels we need to supply the 1000 a minute. Okay. In this case, since you can productivity science packs, what you need to do is you need to figure out how many gears you need to supply, uh, science pack production before the productivity kicks in. And that may sound confusing, but I'll write it out here so it makes more sense for you. Okay. So what I'm saying, right, is we have our thousand per minute goal, right? But that is when we calculated this, right? When we calculated this, we put productivity into that. We're actually only and our count was 11, right? So if we just go, 11, right? Our count's 11 doing this type of setup. I'm not going to set it all up, but I'll just set these to red. So we know our count's 11, We're, but since we have productivity in these machines, right? And we took that into our equation, we actually only have, and I'm saying in, in quotes here, production for an amount that's going to be lower, right? Because our, our, our productivity is giving us free packs per production. So this production we actually have here is uh, based on, I'm trying to think how to say it, based on the machines themselves, like before productivity, it's not a thousand science packs per minute production. So to figure that out, it's just very simple. You just take your thousand, right? Or whatever number it may be. And if you're using productivity, you just divide it by your productivity amount. So we have a thousand, we divide it by 1.4, 714, we'll say. We'll round up, it's 0.2. I always like to round up for these so you make sure you have enough. Say 715. Okay, so what this means is we need gear production to supply essentially 715 science packs per minute worth of production. If, if that makes sense, I'm not sure a better way to say it, uh, that, that this amount, right? This is uh, that the input you need, that the gear input you need is gonna be equivalent to 700 and 15 uh, packs per minute in this case, because all the rest, the 275 to reach your thousand goal is from your productivity. Those are free, right? That's not using extra input. So those just come free. So that's how we figure this out. So we need to figure out how much gear production we need for 715. And you literally just do this equation again, but for this number, right? So we just take gears and produced one, divide it by 0 0.5, multiply by 5.5 again, and multiply by 1.4, right? So it's literally the same exact equation, right? So we take one divided by 0 0.5 times 5.5 times 1.4. So one is simpler, again, this is, and this is a per second, will give us 15.4 per second, multiply by 60 for a per minute rate, 924. So one gear is simpler, will support all we need, right? 924, it's actually overproduction. We need enough for 715 uh, packs per minute and it's a one to one ratio. Remember, they only require one. So this produce that produces 924 gears per minute. 
So one of, we, we only need one of gear simpler. So that's how you figure that out. Um, I, I hope that makes sense. I know it, it's kind of hard to just say, but these equations hopefully should help. Um, and, and this is it for that. Okay, and then the last thing, and this is easier even, um, if we already have a build down, say you didn't do any math, you just slapped a build down, which is what we have here. Now this build is super overkill. You're going to be pretty blown away by these numbers, but let's just say you built an oil build. You're like, all right, let's just do this. Let's beacon it. Boom. And you need to figure out how much crude oil you actually need to give this thing to work fully, right? So this is kind of the second part is how much, how many products do you need to su supply a, a, a set amount of, of production buildings like this? And it's, it's pretty much the same equation. Um, it's just you kind of want a different sort of answer from it, if that makes sense. So we look at this, and we know, it, literally the same thing, we know that this takes 10 oil, right? So this takes 10 oil per, per cycle, per craft, and it takes 5 seconds. So we just plug the same equation in. Okay, so let's go down. We'll just say oil required, okay? So we take this and where items produced, instead of items produced, we're going to do items um, items used, right? So in this case, it's going to be 10, right? So we have 10. We divide that by 5, the craft time here, right? And then we multiply that by the craft speed of the refinery, which is 5.7 just to show you here, 5.7 with all these beacons and the productivity in it. And then of course we have productivity, so we multiply it by 1.2, right? There's only two in here, you can only fit two. So make sure you do keep that in mind. So this is only 20%, um, 1.2. And this is gonna give us how much oil this thing consumes per second. And this is, it's gonna seem like a lot, but there, I'll explain it in a different way in a second, which will make more sense even. So we take 10, we divide it by five, we multiply it by 5.7 and multiply it by 1.2. All right, no, sorry. I did this backwards. You don't need your productivity. That's the part that's different. You don't need your productivity uh, because of your productivity is for an output. We need an input. Um, so you, you just don't even do your productivity. It's even simpler. You just multiply it by the, the craft speed of the, of the machine, which I believe is 11.4 divided by five, well, five times 5.7. If I could actually do math, 10 divided by five times 5.7, 11.4, there we go. All right, sorry about that. So 11.4, this is how much oil this needs per second. 11.4 oil per second per one of these, right? Which means that if we go on a minute rate again, this actually needs 684 oil per minute per refinery to keep this going. And you're going to be like, holy crap, how can that possibly be right? Well, here's another way to think about it. This takes five seconds. Your craft speed is 5.7, which means it's brought your craft time to a little below a second, right? If the craft speed were 5.5 or were five, the craft speed were five, this takes five seconds, it would take one second, right? but it's 5.7, which means it takes less than a second and it requires 10 oil per thing. So, I mean, that kind of works out, right? It requires 10 oil, but it's actually making it, it's actually craft using it faster than a second. So the 11.4 per second kind of makes sense now, right? So that's how you figure that out. Last thing is if you take belts into the equation, um, the easiest way I like to look at it is you just do the same equations I went over and then you just keep in mind your belt speeds to figure out how many you actually need to feed this with. And I'll just write out the belt speeds here. I did a previous video um, that went over furnace ratios, but I explained belt speeds there. Uh, but yellow belt, um, yellow belt is 13, I believe, 0.33 items per second total. Uh, red belt is exactly double that speed. So... We're just going to say like 26.6 and blue belt is exactly three times uh, yellow belt. So 40. Okay. So let's just say, for example, you needed 60 gears per second um, to supply some gear bill you have. Um, you would essentially say, well, okay, a blue belt can only th 
put, you know, can only pass 40 items a second, right? So we need one and a half blue belts, right? 40 and then half 40 is 20, so 40 plus 20 is 60, right? So that's the easiest way I like to look at it. There are some equations where you just actually plug in like input limited and output limited stuff for the belts, but they're a lot more complicated. I just find this easier, right? You just you just get your numbers that you need, and you're like, well, I need X amount of this for this build. And if you're using belts instead of bots, because these are bot builds, right? So we don't even take belts into equation. Uh, if you're using belts, then you just know the belt speeds, right? And then you just say, okay, well, I need, you know, whatever, 60 gears a second, and a blue belt is only 40, so I need one and a half blue belts worth of, uh, you know, gears or whatever output you, you get my point so there you go hopefully that was helpful i know some parts of it were maybe a little convoluted but it's it it's a little hard to keep straight in your head until you get it super super memorized um but there you go i will post the equation in the description as well just so you can you know kind of copy it for yourself or whatever um but it's pretty straightforward and once you kind of get it into your head into a rhythm it's pretty easy to figure this stuff out I hope that helped you. If you have any follow-up questions or I forgot something, if I did something wrong that I didn't correct, um, then please let me know down in the comments. Uh, hopefully there's not too much of that. But anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you did find this helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, love to hear your comments down below. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.